Hey guys, I'm Scott here with Tony at PAX East. We're here to talk about a game called Dauntless that I know very little about, but that Tony has actually played. So Tony, just to start out with, can you tell us what Dauntless is? Sure, so Dauntless is very similar to Monster Hunter. You're taking down all these big creatures, and it comes from a lot of ex-Blizzard people. So it's got a nice art style to it. It plays really smoothly and uh, kind of makes you want to go fight those monsters. So if this is a Monster Hunter game, are there classes or anything like that in the game? So the way you're thinking of classes is not the way that this game does it. When you make a character, you don't choose, I want to be a tank or I want to be a rogue or something like that. It's all gear based. Okay. So you choose, OK, I'm going to fight with an ax. I'm going to fight with a hammer. I'm going to fight with a sword. Sword's kind of the go-to weapon for most people, I think. It's you know got that balance of agility and damage. Uh, but as you can see in the opening trailer, the hammer actually has sort of like a rocket on the back of it that you can boost yourself ahead with. So each tool also has sort of tricks like that that you can use. Gotcha, so it's not just purely melee combat. It's also weapons are also tools in a way. Yeah, weapons are also tools that you can use to fight these things. Uh, the sword, once you power it up, you can unleash like an area of effect attack that damages the monster and also sort of buffs your damage for a little bit of time. And of course, the axes and the hammers, they just hit really hard. Right, which never hurts. Never unless hurts. Unless you're getting hit with them. Yes, if you're the monster, it's gonna hurt a lot. So at the top, you compare this to a Monster Hunter game. Why, yeah. like, what makes this like Monster Hunter? So your team is out on these sky islands hunting down these giant monsters. And I got to fight two of them. I fought a giant owl and I fought a giant pangolin. Uh, one was sort of like a tutorial boss. The other one, not so much of a tutorial boss. It was pretty tough to take down. There's no health meter on these things. You just kind of pound away at them until they go down. Uh, you can see like sort of scars and flesh wounds forming as you fight them. So that's kind of your, your visual cue as to how well you're doing in this fight. But as you're fighting these things, you, you need to concentrate sort of on certain body parts. So the pangolin, for instance, it has a rolling attack that sort of rolls over you with all these crystals on its back. So if you get a chance, as it's sort of on its side, if you break up those crystals, they'll do less damage the next time they hit you because there are fewer of them on its back. Gotcha. And of course, it's got a giant tail that you want to slice off because once you slice that off, he can't really swing his tail at you anymore. And just to be clear, this is like a cooperative game, right? The trailer made it look like it's a multiplayer game. Yeah, uh, we played with four players. I'm not really sure what the total count is, but with four people, it's pretty fun to take down a giant monster. Cool, so that's all the info we have on Dauntless, but be sure to like and subscribe on YouTube and tune into GameSpot.com for all of our content from PAX East 2017.